Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 15th through to the 21st. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. I would like to wish any of you who celebrate St. Patrick's Day a beautiful one this week. So, to your reading. First card up is the Ace of Wands in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana of the World in the upright. Next, we have Major Arcana, the uh, Magician upright, followed then by the Seven of Cups upright. And lastly, we have the Page of Cups in the upright. So, for your overall energy cancer, you have that of the Ace of Wands in the upright position. The Ace of Wands is something new, something exciting, something passionate could be starting for you this week. Now, for some of you, if you're single and looking, this could be a great week because this could be a passionate new relationship on the on the horizon, something that's really, really exciting for you. That's what it is. The, the, the aces always usher in some kind of new beginning. So for you, Cancer, it could be um, a new beginning in a passionate romance. It could be, for others of you, a new beginning in something that is very exciting to you. That could be anything from a, a new hobby that you have or a new uh, career or a new job or something. But whatever it is, it's something that's really, really exciting. <laughs> you know, it definitely has good bones, good beginnings. It could be a passion, a new idea. Maybe you're just hot on the trail of something. You could have just discovered something and maybe this has become your new passion. For others of you, it's good news for those of you who've sort of lost passion, maybe in your relationship, in your work or what have you. And this could be the passion returning, coming back on the scene again. So good news, no matter how you slice it. At the very beginning of the week, you've got a pretty intense card here. We have the world in the upright position. Well, this is what I call the my graduate card. This is where... Um, we're closing out a cycle. Could be a long-standing cycle for some of you. Perhaps you have just retired. Maybe you've just uh, graduated and now you're ready to go into the working world. Uh, others of you, like I said, could be that you are closing out a cycle of work that you've done for a long time. Could be anything from volunteer work to your actual job. Maybe you are uh, closing that out in order to start a new, something new, your new passion. Others of you, this could just be about retirement and maybe you're looking forward to now being able to enjoy your time, your free time and so forth. Um, others of you, maybe this is the end of a long-standing marriage or relationship, that this is the final stages, maybe where, you know, divorce papers are signed and you're finally going your own way. It could be, again, this is not something that would just come out of the blue. If this did happen, you would be very much aware of it. You would know that, because uh, this is sort of like the end phase of it, right? So... Um, others of you, maybe you're selling a long, a home that you've been in, a family home for a long time, and perhaps downsizing to a smaller place, you know, take what fits. <laughs> and the next card up is the magician. This is beautiful. This is about manifesting something new in our lives. Look at how perfect this all is. Wrapping up the old cycle, starting something new, and you've got a passion, either a new interest or a new person is there and you're manifesting away with full confidence look at that yellow the solar plexus uh, chakra just being lit up high confidence when we all possess the ability to manifest things in our lives so when the magician comes up in the upright position is there to let us know that we're in full manifestation mode we are clear about our path ahead and we know what it is we want to bring into, even though other people may look at us and, and appear, it appears to them like we have created magic. Where did that come from? I thought you just, you know, left your job. How do you have this, you know, great new, new job? <laughs> it may seem like magic to others, but meanwhile, cancer has been quietly and intensely manifesting <laughs> their, their path forward. <laughs> Next card up is the Seven of Cups in the upright position. This is all about choices and decisions and many options, many opportunities. I always say it's better to have more than none. So uh, you do have to really, really sift through this energy with a fine-tooth comb, though. 
that's the only thing. It can be very confusing energy because sometimes it's like, I know myself, when you put too many choices in front of me, I'm like, oh, I thought I knew what I wanted, but now I could want this, I could want that. <laughs> so it could be a situation like that, maybe for some of you, if you're on the dating sites, for example, it could be that there's so many people there for you to choose, to date, or others of you, this could be about uh, opportunities, career opportunities, job opportunities, apartments, if you decide to move, that kind of thing. Maybe there's just a lot of them. But like I said, take your time and go through this very carefully because not all of the options there are actually good for us. They're not always um, feasible. So you really need to take a close look at it. Now the next card up is the beautiful page of cups in the upright position. This is really nice energy. I love the page of cups in the upright because this is, well, first of all, it's a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, that of cancer like yourself, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be that you're getting messages or, um, you know, uh, maybe somebody has a crush on you. <laughs> maybe it's a Pisces, maybe it's another cancer or a Scorpio. It could be any sign, but a lot of times the pages can represent young people. So perhaps you're getting um, messages from a young person who has a crush on you, or it could just be your own child, grandchild, niece, nephew, godchild, perhaps just being incredibly sweet and just kind of making, well, this is coming towards weekend energy. So maybe this person is just, this uh, sweet little person is perhaps just really making your weekend, especially good news if you're babysitting uh, these uh, this sweet little child over the weekend. Others of you, this is, could be representing an apology that could be coming from somewhere, from someone. And sometimes, because it is water energy, could be you yourself maybe wanting to offer something to somebody. Maybe you're sending messages. Maybe you have <laughs> a crush on someone cancer and you're sending the messages. Either way you slice, it looks like a really good week for you. And... Um, what can I say except uh, I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.